talking about a lot of news. The biggest news is this potential document, this draft opinion, reportedly leaked from the Supreme Court to Politico. Uh, this, of course, uh, if made final, could overturn Roe v. Wade, and that's why people are talking about it. But it comes right in time uh, as the voters are headed to the polls in both Ohio and Indiana. We want to bring in one of the candidates running for Senate in Ohio, Mike Gibbons, Republican uh, for U.S. Senate, uh, joining us right now. First of all, thank you so much for being with us. But we have to ask you about uh, this question, about what your thir first thoughts were when you heard about this document leaked from the Supreme Court. Well, we've, we've been hoping for this for a long time, those of us that are... Uh for life, and uh, we expected it. We always felt that uh, that Roe v. Wade was uh, was not good law, anyhow. And uh, and finally, we have a court that's recognizing it. Was it that? I mean, in, and and I always ask people, you know, speak to Democrats, speak to Republicans, the viewers that are watching right now at home. Is the uh, biggest issue here the fact that this is not constitutional in your mind? Are you agreeing with Justice Alito's, again, reported opinion in this draft document? Is it that the belief is widely held among rep Republicans that uh, unborn children have the same constitutional rights to life as those of us who are voting on issues like this? Yes, we, we believe that life uh, begins at conception. I think uh, well, science supports us. And, uh, and as I said, we've been Hoping for this and waiting for this for a long time. This is a this is a great news to uh, to people that are pro life. Let's. Uh, I want to bring in actually some video. We we spoke earlier with a couple of people uh, running for the same office as you, including Jane Tenkin and uh, your Democratic opponent, Mark Morgan Harper, who appeared earlier uh, with us this morning. We want to have you listen to what she had to say about uh, the potential of overturning Roe v. Wade. Well, we already know what's going to happen. In Ohio, our state legislature has made moves that are even more extreme than what's happening in Texas and Florida to ban access to abortion. And so we know what's going to happen. People in Washington know what's going to happen. And that's why it's such a risk, actually, when we're getting back to this Democratic primary, to have a Democratic nominee who has voted over 70 percent of his career with Republicans to restrict access to abortion. That's my opponent, Tim Ryan. We need to have a fighter. We need to have a champion for this important right, especially in this moment. What is your response to that? There are a lot of people who believe that it's a woman's right to choose what she does with her body. Well, uh, as a pro-life candidate, I don't agree. Uh, I think uh, life is protected from conception, and uh, I've always felt that way. And, and frankly, I'm encouraged by uh, finally a, uh, an, an accurate assessment by the, by the Supreme Court. We uh, know that you strongly supported former President Trump in 2016 and 2020. You served as his Ohio uh, finance co-chair uh, for his campaign. Uh, why do you think he decided to endorse J.D. Vance uh, for this particular office seat? Well, you know, it's kind of above my pay grade to comment on that. Uh, I think, uh, you know, when it comes right down to it, uh, J.D. Vance moved in from out of state. He was uh, handpicked by, uh, by Mitch McConnell. Um, and I think that uh, he's supported by West Coast uh, tech money. And I think that tech money may be, uh, may be the big impetus for our president uh, to, uh, to support him. Our former president, yeah. Uh, he has to, yeah, he has to run again in uh, 2024, and it costs a lot to do it. <laughs> I have to ask you one more question. Uh, this uh, issue of redistricting lines in the state of Ohio, a bit messy, uh, and it will require voters to actually go to the polls for two primary elections uh, to, on May 3rd today, yeah. and then we don't even know the next date. Uh, do you think that that's going to be something that voters are going to want to repeat? Are, are they going to have the turnout uh, that is needed for this election? Yeah, I, I don't know the answer to that. Uh, you know, we're, we're not seeing a great... Uh, Movement to the polls in this primary. It's either you know, uh, early voting was rather low. We're not quite sure. Uh, you know, I think that uh, we see the, uh, I think the general attitude in the state is the Biden administration is failing daily. And I think we're going to get a uh, strong Republican interest in putting Republicans in office in this state. And I'm hopeful that, uh, I'm hopeful that uh, we get. Uh, a big rush to the polls, but but I can't I uh, can't predict it. Yeah, only can hope. Mike Gibbons, thank you so much for making time. And I have a long day ahead of you and a long night. 
Uh, we'll await those <laughs> results tomorrow, I believe, is when they'll announce those. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.